Hi everyone, how are you doing? I wanted to jump online and let you know that I did come up with some bath salts. So I wanted to go over them. First, let me say that I do repurpose containers. Um, I'm really big on, hey, let's save the planet, right? So these are Voss bottles. They're the glass ones. So I repurpose these. So um, anyhow, I wanna go over what each one of these are and they are already available in my store. So there is um, the Headache Blend and the Headache Blend has I have to look at my paper because there's a lot of stuff in that I can't memorize, right? So um, let me go over the basics in it, right? So there is Himalayan pink salt. And I use Himalayan pink salt because I used to use sea salt because um, I love what the sea does for us, right? There's nothing more satisfying than to go to the beach and put your, your feet in the sand and to... Um, let Mother Nature heal us through our feet, right? Uh, just letting our ions um, release into Mother Earth, right? I mean, that is perfect. We are made of all of the elements, and that is what we're supposed to do, right? And by having seawater, that is great. But the problem is we humans are polluting the sea. So it's hard to get good sea salt that is that we can be positive it's not polluted right so i've switched over to himalayan sea salt because himalayan sea salt comes from under the earth where we have not polluted it yet and himalayan sea salt is really good for us too it's got a lot of good minerals in it so now i make my bath salt with himalayan sea salt it also has magnesium sulfate so think of um Epsom salts, okay? And magnesium, a lot of times when you have um, a headache, you have, especially a migraine, you have a deficiency in magnesium. So uh, soaking in magnesium sulfate um, helps with that. Um, sodium bicarbonate and then um, chamomile oil. And chamomile oil is really good for softening your skin. And then the essential oils, okay? So um, the headache or migraine blend um, has peppermint. Peppermint relieves nausea, which is really good when you're having a headache or migraine, and increases blood flow to the forehead. Magnesium, I talked about that, deficiency causes headaches and migraines. Ginger, it's been used by Chinese herbalists for 2,000 years for a variety of ailments, including headaches, nausea, arthritis, and the common cold and flu. A study in the 2014 Journal of Cytotherapy um, Research showed it had the same therapeutic effect as sumatriptan. And sumatriptan is what they, um, uh, Emetrex and Relpax, those are sumatriptans. Those are uh, prescription migraine medications. So ginger is you are shown to have the same effect. So that was pretty amazing, right? Um, okay, feverfew. So feverfew is uh, shown to lessen the occurrence of migraines and it has anti-inflammatory um, properties. White willow is also an anti-inflammatory. And feverfew has been used in Chinese um, herbal remedies for years and white willow has been used forever in um, uh, Native American um, blends. And then there is the relax blend. Okay, and the Relax Blend, the essential oils in that is rosemary. Rosemary improves your mood, reduces pain, and boosts your memory. Lavender, it reduces anxiety and emotional stress, improves sleep, and relieves pain. And Lemon Balm, improves your mood and improves sleep. So if you had a really, really bad day, you know, you get a glass of wine or some chamomile tea or... I was trying to think of some other kind of teas, chamomile or sage tea or any of those really good teas and take a hot bath with this relax blend tea or relax blend um, bath salts and do that like a couple hours before bed. And by the time you're ready for bed, you're just going to drift off to sleep. 
And then the last one is muscle blend. And muscle blend is maybe you had a really hard workout or maybe you did a hard walk or maybe you just were on your feet all day. You're a nurse or a PCT or some other job where you're just running all day long and doggone it, you just are sore and you hurt. This is a really good blend for that. It has peppermint, which is good for muscle pain, wintergreen, which is a natural painkiller. Think of Bengay, that's what they put in Bengay. Clove, which reduces inflammation, and helichrysum, which reduces inflammation. It's also a detoxifier. So the mix of those um, really helps to decrease um, pain in your muscles. So anyhow, this is my um, three bath salts that I have for right now. So those are currently in my store, and you will see those links in the discussion board of my channel. So if you have any questions whatsoever, ever pop a question over on the discussion board. And um, I also have a uh, Facebook page. If you would like to see that, you can also find a link for that over on the discussion board. And um, anyhow, I guess that's it for now. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open. I will be creating more things. I'll talk to you later.